Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to STEM with Stanley. Today, I have a special friend with us. I have Stanley, and I also have one of our STEM students, Zuri, who's going to help us with our experiment today. Today, we're learning about how to do an egg drop experiment. So she's going to be helping me and Stanley and Miss Becky. So Zuri, wave to everyone, tell them hello. Hi. <laughs> so she's going to help us. Today, the key words that I want you guys to focus on are force and gravity. I hope you guys have all of your supplies together. You should have egg, balloons, rubber bands, maybe cotton balls, and some cups for today's experiment. Now we're going to give you information about two types of forces. There's contact force and then there are invisible forces. I'm going to talk to you about the invisible forces and Miss Becky is gonna to talk to you about the contact forces. So when we talk about contact forces, we're talking about pushing things and pulling things, right? So it says a force is a push or pull that makes an object start or stop moving speed up or slow down or change direction. So when you push on something like a wagon or like you pull a wagon or you push, you know, something else that rolls, what else can you push? What do you, what can you push and pull? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you can push a car. Yes, yeah. you can push you can like push a little a car. car. Right? Yeah, so things that we can touch, those are called contact forces mm -hmm. that we push and pull. And the rocket is pushing, it's called thrust. It's, it's their engines push. In and so those are our main types of contact forces. We are demonstrating our non-contact forces today. So Stanley is going to move just a little bit so that I can talk to you guys about the invisible so forces. So we're going to talk about air resistance and gravity. The air frictional force you. that slows an object move as it moves through the air. So this would be an invisible force. Mm -hmm. Then gravity is an invisible force that pulls objects towards mm -hmm. the center of the earth. Just like when you have a parachute, you're getting pulled towards the center of the earth. Once a parachute explodes, you're getting pulled towards the center of the earth so you can land safely. That's why we have parachutes. Yeah, and I the parachute, have a parachute. Yeah, the parachute um, uses air resistance, uses the air, it catches the air so we can fall down safely. So today, we, like in our picture, we're going to drop an egg, but we have to protect our egg in order to not make it not crack. <laughs> yeah, so we have a few things to try and protect our egg, because um, our egg is gonna fall because of gravity, but maybe we can help protect our egg against the different forces whenever it hits the ground. Two cups. So yeah, we're- An egg. And we're going to use an egg. An egg right? there. Let's see, we have a small carton of eggs. Zuri, can you count the eggs for us and tell us how many eggs we have? One. Stanley, do you want to help Zuri count the eggs? I Let's think Stanley here. said yes. Yes, I think Stanley said yes too. Let's count the eggs. One, One. two, three, four, five, six. So we have six eggs, but we're only using how many? One. If we just put the egg in there without the cotton balls, it's probably gonna crack as soon as it hits the ground. So we don't want that to happen. So we're protecting our eggs from the force of gravity by putting the cotton balls in it to protect the shell. So let's see how many cotton balls you put in there. One. How many? 10. All right. You're gonna protect the egg, right? Yeah. Stanley, do you see our egg? You see our egg? So we're not just gonna set the egg on top. We have to kind of protect it. So we're going to make sure that the cotton balls are around the egg to protect it. So Miss Becky is adding some more cotton balls as you can see, you guys can see. So we're gonna make certain that there's cotton balls all around here to protect that shell. Because if we dropped it like that, it'll be all over, egg goes bye-bye. <laughs> Yeah, protect our eggs. Yes, we're gonna protect our eggs. And the point of this experiment is to use your imagination. You can use anything that you have around your house or your classroom. We're using cotton balls, but you might use some some confetti, some crumpled up pieces of paper, um, maybe some grocery bags. So this cup also has to be filled up with cotton balls? 
Um, I, I did. Okay. So I'm gonna just kind of tape it around a little bit just to hold it in place. And the egg is never gonna fall and break. Yeah, so the egg will never fall and break. Good job. <laughs> okay. I love I love safe eggs. What else do you you love safe it? eggs? Yeah. <laughs> so, so we have two rubber bands on there. Mm -hmm. You want mm -hmm. them to kind of crisscross at the top to make certain that they don't slide apart. You can oh, also take goodness. time to decorate it with stickers or markers if you want. But for now, we're just showing you the basics. You want a parachute or a balloon? You want to use a balloon? Balloons? Okay. So Zuri wants to put a balloon on top. Stanley, what do you think about that? So do you think it's going to break? Nope. So we're going to test the length with our yardstick. All right. Do you want to drop it, Zuri? Y'all help her count. Let's count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Drop it. Okay. Let's see if it's protected. Do y'all think that it broke? Stanley, do you think that it broke? You're coming to see? Let's check it out. Let's take it off. You think Zuri did a good job of protecting it? All right, let's see if she protected her egg. Okay, let's open up and see if the egg dropped, if it broke. Okay, take, the, take it off. Can you take it off? <gasps> Where's the egg? Is it Where's safe? It? It's safe! Good Yay. job, Zuri. High five. High five. High five. High five. Sorry. High five. So we worked okay. by protecting our egg from gravity by putting the cotton balls around it to protect it. Now let's try this, Miss Becky. So the styrofoam gives some level of protection, but let's see if we just dropped it with no protection. Y'all wanna make a splash? We protected it with the cotton balls, but let's see what happens, what gravity does when there's no protection. Are you ready, Zuri? Mm -hmm. Are you ready, Stanley? All righty, here we go. All right, come on back. You, you don't want the egg to break? <laughs> All right, let's see what happens when gravity has its way and there's no protection. Okay, Zuri, on the count of five, to try to protect your egg doing the egg drop experiment. So you've already seen Jury and I do it, now it's your turn. We're gonna give you guys hmm, five minutes to get started. We're gonna start the counter right now. Okay, so we're gonna check back in with you guys to see how you did with your egg drop experiment. Just wanted to go over some key vocabulary again. Remember, the air resistance goes up and gravity goes down. And you guys saw what happened with gravity, right? The egg literally dropped and the egg cracked because of gravity. So remember, air pressure goes what? Up and gravity comes down. And um, to protect things, we can make certain that we have some form of insulation. Today, we use cotton balls to protect our egg. And sometimes if you're getting other products, sometimes shipped in the mail, or sometimes your toys, they'll be packaged in a way so that they don't break because they may be fragile. That's a word for things that you have to handle with care. So like anything that's glass, like a cup or a mug that you may see your parents drink out of, those things are fragile. And so when they are shipped to your house or shipped to the store, they're protected a lot of time in styrofoam. Um, not cotton, but actually styrofoam, the same stuff that this cup is made out of, to protect them from breaking. All right, so gravity and air resistance, they're both examples of force, different types of forces. Remember, we have the invisible forces, and that's that. So then we have our contact forces, um, which is pushing and pulling. Those are all of our forces that we're talking about today. So if I pull Stanley, 
by his leash. What is that? If I'm pulling, what is that? If I'm pulling, is that a force? Yes. Mm -hmm. If he's just walking on his own, well, there's no now, force. Now you're pushing. Now I'm pushing. But if I'm pulling, then that's a force. So does anyone have an egg drop experiment they want to share? So our demo, we actually made a parachute. But Zuri, who was our helper today, she wanted to use a balloon, but we made a parachute to protect it. So when it flew down, it actually opened up like a little parachute, as you can see. Always feel free to share your pictures, videos, and photos with us on our website, or you can tag Little STEM Academy if you choose to post that. Y'all have a good day. Thank you for tuning in for STEM with Stanley and Zuri today. Did y'all enjoy Zuri? She was a really big help, and we truly enjoyed you guys too. Have a great day, and we'll see you in a week. Bye-bye.